This last Sunday, the final battle between Oregon State's Humans First Zombies Club took place in the MU Quad. However, this season there are quite a few player infractions that shed a negative light on the game. As you all know, we called an early ceasefire. We had to do this so we can handle some problems. There were a lot of miscommunication and a lot of misconduct regarding players, mods, and non-players. There were some players uh, bumping into non-players, you know, running past them and kind of shoving them out of the way. Sometimes players interact with the non-players in a way that's not entirely respectful, which is a problem. People get a little bit too into it sometimes. People throwing rocks, uh, you know, balled up in a sock. Vandalism going on too. Generally, most people do not do that. And, like, the vast majority of the players are incredibly respectful that I met. Clear a path, guys. Got non-players. According to the student moderators, the rule breakers were caught and dealt with. But yeah, there have been a couple issues which the mods have been very patient working on. But the negative light did not discourage the OSU HVZ community, and moderators have promised that they will be keeping a closer eye on next season's game. This year's game took place in the MU Quad and ended in a human victory, the first human victory since the game's debut on campus. This is a game, it's fun, but still a game. What I like the most about HVZ is all the friendships that spring up from it. I mean, I made a group of friends just this game, probably about 12 of them. This has been Hayden Wilcox with the Beaver News.